Some people in this world are blessed with an innate tech savvy that allows them to troubleshoot and figure out just about any problem that arises. Others, not so much. This new feature on iPhone provides those two groups with easier collaboration than ever, allowing you to give help or get help all completely remotely. The method uses FaceTime to share screens, which isn't particularly new, but it also utilizes an actually new feature called Remote Control, which lets you take full control of the other device to assist. Let's talk about how it works. To start, let's just discuss how to share screens without granting full control yet. This is great not only for troubleshooting, but also if you want to show someone a picture, a message, or something else on your phone. To start sharing your screen, obviously first, you need to get on a FaceTime call with the person. Once you're in that call, simply tap on the share button. If you don't see those buttons, either tap on your screen in the FaceTime app or tap on the green icon at the top of your phone if you've swiped away from the FaceTime app. Once you click share, you'll be prompted to either share your own screen or ask the other person to share theirs. In this case, we'll select share my screen. You'll see a quick three second countdown before what's on your screen becomes visible to that other person. Once that's complete though, you can swipe away from FaceTime and go to whatever else you want to show the person. While sharing, the other person can tap on their screen to make a little circle appear, helping guide person where to click, or they can draw on the screen to put arrows or other guidance to help them, or simply just to annoy the daylights out of them. <laughs> Anything drawn though will disappear automatically in this fun little animation, an animation that's really similar to how you can make ads disappear on Safari. If you wanna learn more about that, click on the video linked in the description. Once you're done solving the issue or sharing the cat pics, the person sharing their screen can go back to that same menu where they started the share in order to end it. Once again, either from within FaceTime or by clicking the same icon on top, which will now be purple. As soon as you tap the share button, your screen will no longer be visible to the other person. All right, now for the times when you need advanced tech support, where you don't even know where to begin. In that case, you can grant control of your phone to the other person. An important note here is that Apple will prevent you from granting control to people not in your contacts. This is to prevent fraud. Just to reinforce that, absolutely do not grant permission to your phone without knowing and trusting the person on the other end. On top of that, this feature is not something that the IRS, your bank, your credit card company, or any other major institution will ask you for access to. If someone claims to be from one of those entities and wants to control your phone, they are 100% trying to scam you. Simply do not do it. All right, that being said, let's get started. We first have to share our screen just like before, either by selecting share my screen or by the other person selecting ask to share. This gets us back to where we were before. Now the person who wants to control the screen should click on the icon at the bottom of the screen Doing so will then ask the person sharing their screen whether they want to allow remote control. By clicking allow, the other person will now have full control of the phone. They can swipe around, go in and out of apps, change settings, and so on. For the person sharing, if at any time you get concerned about what's being done, simply click the stop button at the bottom to immediately stop the remote control process. Just note that your screen will still be visible even after stopping, until you go back to those FaceTime buttons, tap share like we did before to stop the screen sharing portion. I know that this is going to come in handy for me personally as I serve as the primary tech support rep for my family. Now, anytime that someone is having issues, rather than me asking, did you check this setting or what does it say here? I'll just be able to take control and go exactly where I need to go in order to solve the problem. Sharing a screen was already super useful for troubleshooting, but now this is completely next level. Let me know what you think about this new feature in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you should check out my one that I called out earlier where you can remove ads on Safari. It also covers reader mode where you can access articles without distractions or even have Siri read them aloud to you. It is genuinely super useful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.